Global Interpreter Lock, or GIL, a villain in the movie Parallel Task Execution. It's a mechanism used by the C Python interpreter to assure that only one thread executes Python bytecode at a time. In Python, version 3.13, GIL can be disabled, allowing threads to run more concurrently. Will it be faster than now or the same? Let's find out. Here, look at this code. We have a main function that prints the Python version and GIL status. And then we have a list of numbers. And here we are checking the execution timing of single-threaded, multi-threaded, and multi-process programs. And here we imported supporting libraries. Then we have some functions. First, we have compute factorial that returns the factorial of a number. Next, we have three more functions, single-threaded compute, multi-threaded compute for computing factorial using multiple threads, and then we have multi-process compute to compute factorial using multiple processes. When we run the program, we can see the GIL is not disabled in this version, and we get this result. We can see that the difference is minimal between single-threaded and multi-threaded, but the difference is cut down to half in the case of multi-process, which was expected. Now, when we run the program with the Python 3.13 beta version, we get this result. We can see a massive difference in the performance of multi-threaded computation when GL is disabled, but on the other hand, the performance has been degraded for the other two. But you know every villain is a broken hero. Many Python libraries depend on threading where GIL plays a major role. Popular examples are FastAPI and Django. Here are some snapshots of their code base. Disabling GIL might break some important libraries, and on the other side, some libraries might become blazingly fast. What do you think about this? Comment your views below. If you like this video, give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Python goodness.